Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a willow oak. These are the large growing, majestic, beautiful willow oaks. Willow oaks are listed on most websites as getting 40 to 50 feet in height, probably 20 to 30 feet in width. And for a single owner of a home, that's probably about how tall and wide they could get over the lifetime that you'd be in the home. But I've seen these probably 70, 80 feet in height and 40, 50 feet in width. I mean, big, big, giant trees. Willow oaks will grow in a very wide ranging area from zone five down to zone nine. Willow oaks aren't the fastest growing tree in the world, but they can probably put on a foot, a foot and a half of growth in a single season. This one right here is now probably 30, 35 feet tall, something like that. And it was planted as a about a 12, 14 foot tree 10 years ago. Like most shade trees, willow oaks are gonna want more than six hours of direct sun in a day. I think it's gonna end up being a leggy mess if you tried to put it in the middle of larger trees to start with. Like I said, this is a wonderful shade tree, not a great tree for a small lot. It needs a lot of space. Uh, I've planted one at my house a little too close to my house. The limbs are now over my roof line, filling up my gutters pretty frequently. So that is an issue with this tree. I think you need it more than 20, maybe 25 feet away from a structure. The primary features of willow oaks are number one, it became this beautiful pyramidal tree all by itself with really not any pruning on it. All of these just are absolutely spectacular. Planted as about 12 foot in height and no maintenance done to them whatsoever. They're just absolutely perfect. Uh, willow oaks have very few surface roots, which I think is a big positive. I, I don't like trees that end up with roots where you trip on them or your mower has a hard time around them. So that's a nice feature as well. Some of the other features on them, I actually like the small leaves on them in the fall and they drop all of their leaves very quickly. You know, there's some pin oaks and some other oaks that like to hold on to half their leaves all winter and you just never finish raking. These tend to turn their fall color and get it over with very quickly. Some people will list the fall color as an attribute. It turns this kind of rust brown color. I don't think it's that pretty, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't really need to. It has all the other features of just an absolutely perfect shade tree. Willow oaks also get acorns that are probably about a half inch in size. And those and the small leaves combined together can make for a little bit of cleanup in the fall. I've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs in either clay or sand-based soils. Really don't have to worry too much about these willow oaks. This is probably the easiest of the oaks to transplant and not worry about. You could probably get away with errors in planting this tree. I just never have problems with willow oaks. I, I would go through best practices, break the root ball up, don't bury anything that's not buried when you plant it. The first year your willow oaks in the ground, you are going to want to check on the watering occasionally, pull back you know, the mulch and maybe go about two inches down, check it. If it's moist, leave it alone. If it's dry, drown the entire space around it. This is going to be extremely drought tolerant once it establishes itself. It's great at mulching itself and it's great at shading its own roots. So if you're in an area that gets normal rainfall, once this thing is established, I don't think you'll have to do any ongoing watering on it unless you're in drought conditions. Especially early on while you're trying to get some growth on your newly planted oak, you can fertilize it in late winter or early spring. Any kind of slow release fertilizer for outdoor plants, something that lasts three to four months is ideal. Any pruning you're gonna do on these willow oaks, you're gonna have to do while they're small. They tend to take one or two central leaders and send them up. You know, you can choose to cut that down to one. This one right here is a good example of that. I might take this piece off right here and just keep this central leader. But don't take the central leader out of a willow oak. They look best when they can grow in this kind of pyramidal shape with a single leader in the center. If you cut that entire top out of it, it's gonna end up splitting into four or five pieces and I don't think they look as good in the future when you do that. Willow oaks are notorious for having the limbs come out and up a little bit and then come down over time. So you will have to do some limbing up on these in time. I repeatedly every year have to go in and take two lower branches that end up hanging low over my driveway. So that'll have to be done in the future, no big deal. Not really a lot of pest on willow oaks. I'm shooting this at the end of summer and all of these leaves are almost perfect. There's really, they've been overhead irrigated all summer. There's a leaf here or a leaf there that's been chewed on a little bit, but really these get very few pests 
not much to worry about. I'm assuming that if you, you know, buried this thing, you know, a foot up the collar like that and then watered it every day, you could certainly love it to death. But really overall, this is not a tree you're gonna have to do a lot of worrying about. So what are you waiting for? I'm confident that you can grow the majestic willow oak. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about shade trees. Thanks again.